In this video, we are going to talk about the roadmap for automation engineers in 2023. I've seen many students actually thinking a lot, but actually when it comes to finding a real way, how to become a successful automation engineer or what is the learning curve? What should be the way out to become a successful automation engineer? Most of the people don't know that. In this video, we will try to cover what is the exact path that I would be following if I have to start over again in 2023. Looking into current trends, looking into the current situation, I would suggest you a complete roadmap which can change your life. Before we start today's video, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn your notification on so that you don't miss our future content. Let's start today's video. First of all, if you are trying to get into automation or if you're thinking to become a successful automation engineer, first thing you should have to do is get out of your dreams. This is not all about dreaming all the day and doing nothing. You have to put in efforts. And the first thing that you should actually do when you want to become automation engineer is to understand the process. You have to understand the process of industry you want. For instance, if you wanted to get a job in oil and gas industry, you have to understand the process of process of oil and gas industry. If you wanted to get a job in fertilizer industry, you have to understand the fertilizer industry process. Once you know that, then you have to understand the basic instrumentation because without understanding of basic instrumentation, what are the inputs, what are the outputs? For instance, you should know what is control wall, what are the different transmitters, what is the level transmitter, flow level, what is the flow transmitter, what is the pressure transmitter, that sort of things. And what is other instruments which are really vital for you to understand? You should understand the signals that are present in instruments like 4 to 20 milliampere, 0 to 10 volt. You can talk about, you should understand 0 and 24 volt, which is a digital signal. Concepts related to all type of signals should be very clear, which are present in industrial automation or process industry. The next thing is to pick up a one brand. Most of the people are thinking so much which brand to give it a start. Either they should go for Allen Bradley, Mitsubishi, G, Rockwell, Siemens. What sort of the brand you should pick up? You can start learning from any single brand and eventually once you know one brand, learning another brand would be very easy for you as well. So don't think so much, pick up any brand. And if I have to suggest you pick up from two main brands, if you got a chance, try to learn Allen Bradley or Siemens. I would go for the Siemens at the top. This is the way once you pick up a brand, then you have to get a software. For instance, if you're trying to get a Siemens, you try to get a Semantic Manager or Tier Portal, a correct version, whatever is there based on your system, you have to prepare, prepare your system and then get install the simulator plus software and then it is time to get in some mentorship or some online course if not then you can find free youtube channels like our youtube channel have a playlist related to plc training you can find similar kind of a stuff available on youtube you can just pick up a one channel try to look into the videos one by one there are a few people there are a few channels which have a playlist related to related to plc trainings you can pick up any any of the channel and pick up a playlist of your choice and start learning once you have a plc programming software the next turn is to understand the basics or foundations or instructions different instructions that exist into the PLC programming. You should start learning the basics, bit logic, and then once you are into it, you have different options like you should understand and or not. You should understand what is positive edge, what is negative edge, what is RS, what is SR, and what is set, what is reset. Understand timers, understand counters, and try to understand different data types because the data types are really important and foundation piece to learn analog side. Once you have a good understanding about the data types, then you go ahead and understand scaling concepts in a PLC. Once you know that, probably you can jump into the PID side. So uh, one another problem most of the people have, what sort of the language you should prefer? I would suggest you to go for ladder logic 
or FPD. You can start learning with the latter, which is easiest one, and you can easily grab the information about the latter. And once you are a master of the latter, you can easily learn other languages like FPD, STL. So yeah, you can give it a start from the latter and then quickly jump into other stuffs as well. For sure, another very key advice that I would suggest you is once you are into one topic, uh, for instance, you are learning the instructions, then don't think about any other thing which exists on a PLC programming. The PLC programming is a C. There are a lot of concepts. You cannot learn everything in a one day. One day you should mark what sort of a thing that you wanted to accomplish that day. For instance, if you're trying to learn SR and RS, or you're trying to learn set and reset on a specific day, you should be only focused on that topic rest of the things should not be your concentration anymore because if in the case that day if you're thinking a lot about other topics and you're not focused on that specific topic believe me you will never ever become a successful automation engineer because this is a key you once you are into one specific topic that day is your day to spend the time for that topic rest of the things are not for you that not for you for that day so that's a key once you know the instructions, then the next step is you have to apply these instructions to small uh, to solve or to create a small projects related to process industry. Then once you understand, for instance, you try to create a level program, you try to create uh, you know program for the control walls, you try to create a PID blocks, you try to do a ramp program, you try to do the flow totalizer. Once you are done with all that sort of a stuff, next thing is to actually get into automation industry. Try to get an internship or training engineer job. And that's where you can apply all what you have learned. And then you can perform very well once you would be putting up energy over there. You put up your passion, your dedication into that specific into your job the chances are very high that you would convert your internship and training role into a permanent engineer role once you showcase your skill set to your manager for sure he would definitely give you a chance because people are looking for and industries are looking for those people who know the craft of automation so the chances are really very high your manager will offer you a very good salary in the job once you get in a job don't forget to share your story with us and i hope you got something out of this video if you like this video consider hitting the like button it turns your notification on till next time take care and bye bye